My name is Timim and I'm going to show you how you can use code cards. The first thing I have to do is to create my new flashcard set. So just click here on new flashcard set and uh, put in the name you want to put in, which will be geniuses for me and just click here on save. So the set is created and now I have to create my first flashcard in the set. So you see that's how it looks like. Um, just click here on the yellow button, new flashcard. And as I said, it is about geniuses, so the first uh, question will be who is best known for his theories of special relativity and general relativity, which is, as you know, Albert Einstein. So I'm going to put in Albert Einstein in the answer section, and I'm going also to put in some additional information, like where he was born, when he was born, where he died, and when he died. So I'm just going to put this in the answer section too. You could put in some tags uh, and the source like Wikipedia for example. Now you click on save. Okay, the first flashcard is ready. Um, as you can see you have this red point here which means I did not know this flashcard now and when I study it it, would, it will jump to the next level if I know it so the point will appear uh, green or you get two or three or four green points. What you also could do is to um, move the flashcard into another set just click here on the cross and then just drag and drop it on another set here in this sidebar. Um, okay so but I want this flashcard here much more structured and uh, perhaps the image in it so just click on edit now I'm going to select Albert Einstein I want this name big and you see two pluses in the front and two pluses at the and so this will appear everything which is between those pluses will appear big later and also also want to have it red so just click here on red and this will appear big and red now I have uh, I'm going to get an image just click here on image and I save the image of Albert Einstein on my desktop there it is so I just select it it's uploaded and now you see here it's written pick one in the brackets so pick one in the brackets will appear here in pick one in the brackets. Now control S on my keyboard as a shortcut will save my flashcard. So I don't have to scroll down all the time. Okay, so the flashcard is ready and this is pretty much how I want it to look like. I'm going to show you some other examples here in this flashcard set. Just click here. So you see you could make it big, normal, small, um, you have marker, you have colors, you can underline, you can put, put in some formulas and put in some pictures and you have some tables. Um, what? Uh, let's look here, you can put in some Greek language and if I want for example this flashcard here on the, f on, uh, on the front, I just click here on all and now I go to the cross here and move it to the front. Now number two will appear number one. So, um, what will, uh, is also great about Kobo cards, you can uh, share uh, flashcards with other uh, um, uh, users and also you can use uh, other uh, flashcards which are done by other members. So I'm going to go inside of the pool. The pool, you get the pool if you click here on pool or if you're in home you just click here on pool and you'll get to the pool. So I'm searching for neurobiology. Let's look okay I got three flashcard sets here the first one because I really want to be a scientist uh, in neurobiology so this here looks great yes it's pretty much what I wanted just import it and uh, I confirm so the flashcard set was imported so now I move back to my home um, it's not here now I have to reload the uh, my, my page okay there you see it, it's new biology and now I can learn it, I can edit it and I can do whatever I want to do with it. Hope uh, you'll have fun and learn great with Kobo cards.